The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. Yes. Well, Bunny, this is this is episode 135 of the podcast. 135, yes. that's incredible. Uh, blown away by that. And oh man, we have so much to talk about this week. We've got a... a um, a two-for-one special in the world of the Crazy Christian Book Club. Very excited about that. Yes. We've got some, we've got a free band name. We're going to be a... I've got a massive rant about the war on drugs during our um, homework segment. Okay. Uh, we're going to be talking about... Uh, Politics. We're going to be talking about Michael's, the craft store. Yes. We're going to be the liberal course, craft like store. Did. Yeah, yeah, like we always do. We're going to be talking about the Grateful Dead. We're going to be talking about TriStar Pictures. We're going to be talking. We're going to be talking so much. We're going to be talking so much in this episode of the podcast. What'd you say, honey? You can let her out. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm getting the baby out here. Okay. Uh, I'm coming out, so you better make sure the door is locked. Okay. So, uh, episode 135. This is our 135th episode. We have done 134 episodes that have led us to this amazing star-studded episode. Yes. Now, here's a, and that's just the episode, the full episodes. We record so much that. That Bunny edits it out, and so we first <laughs> release the full episode, and then we, re we release pieces of the episode and, uh -huh. and, and different segments, and then we have some special editions and some interviews and yada, yada, yada. We create a lot of content. We, we, so, we, we, we do a lot of stuff. So if you are a real fan, then you're listening to the full episode, the whole like three and a half to four hour episode. Yeah, but if you just want yeah. to check us out, you got the little bits. Yeah, yeah. You got three minutes. You got five minutes. You got ten minutes. Even some of those get up to like an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we we believe that it is possible, however unlikely, that uh, the person who is listening to this episode right now may not have heard all one hundred and thirty four episodes. That have led to this star-studded, jam-packed 135th episode, and this is a very, very serialized podcast because serialized podcasts are really big right now. So what we like to do as a public service, because we're sort of heroes, is we like to start off the episode with a previously on the Pope on film, like we're an episode of Supernatural or ER or something. To let you know what we did in the last episode, to get you in touch, to, to, to make sure you realize what we have done and what is coming up, what is coming up next. So, without any further ado, or maybe with some ado, with a little bit of ado, previously on the Pope on Film, the epic battle for the Iron Throne continues. <laughs> but, but, uh, FYI, this series has now, <coughs> this series has now officially gone beyond the written books that this show is based on. Yes. Originally, originally it was just, uh, we were copying these, uh, science fiction books, but, but now we've gone past the books. Because the author of the books is just a fat, lazy douchebag. So, starting in this last episode, yeah, um, things are starting to get a bit kooky, a bit different than what you're used to. For example, the Queen of the Dragons, in the last episode, adopted mm -hmm. three precocious orphans. Yes. And each one with their own adorable catchphrase, Bunny. Uh, what was what was the catchphrase that the littlest orphan kept saying? The littlest orphan kept saying, "Kept saying, what? 
Do I smell like tuna? Oh, and then everybody laughs. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. And, and, and also, uh, the white walkers, the white uh, snow type monsters. Yeah. They are all Olaf from Frozen now. <laughs> because that just that just tested better. Focus grouped it. And yep. it just it tested better. In summer That's from that's from Frozen. <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Frozine. Frozen. And in the last episode, Jon Snow fought his evil twin brother Zon Snow. And of course, last week was the first episode that featured Susan Lucci as the evil Cassandra. Yes. And she's still not going to get an Emmy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. (laughs) Yeah. So, who will rule Westeros this week? Find out tonight on the Pope on Film podcast. Also, because of budgetary restrictions, Westeros is now East L.A. (laughs) It's It's just a bit easier... Actually, most of the episode will just be in the temple from Lucha Underground. It's just easier. It's more cost effective. Yes, it is. It's just a bit of a more cost effective thing. Wow. Episode 135. God, can you believe it? 135 episodes. Man, here it is. We're we're coming up on three years soon, dude. Yeah, here it is, a groove, slightly transformed, just a bit of a break from the norm, just a little something to break the monotony of all that hardcore dance, which has gotten to be a little bit out of control. It's cool to dance, but what about a groove that moves, soothes and moves romance? Yeah. Give me a soft summer mix, and if it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it. (laughs) Don't try to fix it, bunny. I know you're going to want to fix it. You're going to be like, look at this broken thing. I'm going to fix it. But don't try. (laughs) That's what I'm saying, okay? Don't try. Fix it, okay? Okay. Keep it unfixed. (laughs) And think of the summers of the past. Adjust the base and let the alpines last. Uh, Put your car on cruise and put on my CD and I forget the rest. But it's summertime. Yes. And the living is easy. I'm I'm sorry about that, uh, uh, Doctor Bunnyson Honeydew. <laughs> I don't know what came over me or why that came from a dark place. Yes, it did. a dark place inside. That's not a racial jab. Dark place inside my soul. I'm not, I'm not talking about the uh, the skin tone of the person who wrote that song. Yes. Anyway, Captain Bunguru. Yes. Ruffle up a bunny. SpongeBob Dirty Shorts. I yes. really like that last one. I really liked that last one, just <laughs> to be clear. I really like that last one. Let's get real for a second, if we can. Okay. Let me tap at you some. If this were a movie or a TV show, then I would move my baseball cap backwards like Luke Danes, and I'd sit the wrong way on a chair, just to show my seriousness here, yeah. okay? Now, before I start this tiny, small, tiny little rant, before I start, I'm not complaining. Okay. Hey, hey, yes, I am complaining a little bit, but I'm not angry, okay? Okay. Okay. Last week's episode of the Pope on Film was, without bragging, honestly, it was the single greatest podcast in the history of electronics and free time. I'm not bragging. Just being honest. It's just good manners. Yeah. It wasn't just a good episode. It was a damn good episode. A damn good episode of the Pope on Film. We tackled Disney's Shame, the Song of the South, as well as Racism, Abortion, Noted, Jackass, Milo, Yiannopoulos, The Kazoo, Underage Drinking, Game of Thrones, and so much more. It was, without a doubt, one of our best episodes. And it barely freaking happened. I just would like to take this time to to stress that we record a three and a half, a sometimes five hour show. Yes. Pretty much every week. Yes. And for free. For free. I don't know how this show sounds to an outsider. 
But I write a sh- shit ton for this podcast. Yes. By hand, too. Constantly writing out the show pretty much all week. Thank God no one at work has asked me why I'm writing all the time. Mm-hmm. Thank God no one has bothered to care to, to <laughs> ever ask me, how come you're always carrying around that clipboard and writing in it? No one's ever bothered to ask me that. If anything, that's a bit concerning. Well, at first, it makes you look more important. And they're probably afraid that you're they're probably afraid you're writing up knowledge reports on them. And that's the that is originally the only reason why I carried a clipboard. There was a specific song by the band Grand Buffet that says flex your authority, carry a clipboard. I'm like, hey, if I carry a clipboard, I'm going to seem a lot more important. Yeah. The only reason why I carry a clipboard, just to be clear. Um, but I will feverishly scribble eight to 12 pages of notes for each show. See, and I'm worried that an outsider will hear this podcast and think that we're ad-libbing everything. But no, I write my ass off and I usually finish writing the show about an hour or two right before recording the episode. Mm-hmm. But this last one, this last time though, I was way behind. I was way, way behind. The show almost didn't happen, but it did. And it, it was great too. I guess what I'm trying to say is we rock ass. We do rock ass. We rock we do ass. Rock ass. Yeah, and the shows were out late this week because I just felt really sick over the weekend and like was having okay. a hard time getting to it. So I got to it on Monday. And that's how long the editing takes, about two days yeah. to get through it. And kind of since we broke up the show, um, this episode went a little longer because because what I do is I have the main timeline with the whole show on it. Yeah. Where I'm basically just clipping the end, you know, trimming the ends and putting in the breaks. But then yeah. that whole timeline is copied over to another timeline where I'll trim the beginning again and it's like, okay, this is previously on. And I'll start yeah. editing in there. So if something happens, I have to go backwards through the timelines. So like something was said once during Notes from the Bookstore last week that I had to take care of. And then it yes. happened then it happened again in the Milo y- y- Yankovic one. Yeah. Which was in notes from the bookstore. And I'm not bitching about this either. I just I just want people to know, yeah. and I think it's kind of funny actually. So if I gotta bleep out something from Milo Yankovic, yeah. I gotta bleep it out there, then I have to go back to notes from the bookstore, find it, find it there. Because that whole section is in notes from the bookstore bleep it out there, and then go to the main show and find it and bleep it out again. Gotcha. It's like a little cascade effect going on. (laughs) Yeah. Our show is the warp drive. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, I'm the engineer. I handle the warp drive of the show. Yeah. I'll try really hard not to have anything bleeped. No, no, I'm not saying that. I just... I. just found it funny okay well yes maxwell yes oh there's a guest how amazing uh uh, who is this guest maxwell carnage carnage yes the the red venom just to be clear maxwell uh has been saving money for a very long time and and so he Went and bought some big new Marvel toys that he's very proud of. So this is Carnage. What does Carnage have to say? Hey, can you stop? Can you, Maxwell, seriously, stop spitting a symbiotic alien Carnage goo all over the podcast, okay? Because now everybody who's listening is going to turn into an evil alien symbiote monster. Do you want that to happen, Maxwell? Do you want everyone to turn into an alien symbiote monster? That's not real. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who said? You know who also said that? George Zip. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. You know what happened to George real. Zip, don't you? It, it's not real. Yeah, George Zip was real. George Zip. Which you can say the same for George Zip. <laughs> <laughs>